We're gonna go ahead and mute ourselves. We'll sing to Brandon in just a moment, but I see some kids that have their hands up. I want to call on Avery. Yes, Avery. Um, can I tell you about my nature walk? Oh, yes. Congratulations. That's wonderful. Was it raining during your nature walk? <laughs> awesome. Great, great. I know we have a little bit. We have a little bit of a slow internet this morning. Let me just call on. All right, all right. Let me call on just one more friend for now. Um, and hopefully our internet issues will handle themselves. Let me call on um, David. Now, boys, David, can we make an announcement about you? Is that okay if we tell everybody? Do you wanna tell your friends? Okay, tell your friends. So, when I were playing, there's something I would Good morning, Mrs. Five. Are you trying to get um, you drew a picture yeah. of a leprechaun? Nope. Okay, are you gonna sh are you gonna show us, honey? Because we oh, Sonic the Hedgehog, very very nice. David, is it okay if we tell your friends that you're moving? Is that okay? Is that okay? Do you want to tell your friends or do you want me to tell your friends? You tell your friends. Okay. Today is David's last day in our class. He's moving this weekend, right, David? And so we will miss David a whole lot, but I know David's going to go to a new school and it's going to be awesome. He's going to have a great time there. So. All right, so I think without further ado, we're gonna have to sing to Brandon. Brandon, today you are six years old. You need two hands to show your age. That is awesome. So boys and girls, let's go ahead and unmute and we are going to sing happy birthday to Brandon. So go ahead and unmute yourself and let's sing happy birthday to Brandon, ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Brandon. Happy birthday to you. Beautiful. All right. And Brandon was so kind that Brandon made goodie bags for everyone. So remember, your folders are out already. They're outside. But make sure you take one goodie bag, just one. And that is from Brandon in honor of his birthday. Thank you so much, Brandon. That is so nice of you. All right, boys and girls, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with our good morning song. So make sure you can sing along this morning. Here we go.
much fun. The more of us, the better. So come on, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Just fine. Howdy, howdy, do hello, good day. Beautiful job. All right, boys and girls, I'm going to take that out right there. So today we are going to talk about spring because tomorrow is the first official day of spring and spring is a very exciting season. Um, I see Brandon Ace there. Brandon Ace, is everything okay, buddy? Favorite character? Okay, show us. It's my two characters. Okay, are you going to. Oh, very nice. All right. Oh. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, thanks for sharing, Brandon. All right, boys and girls, right now, we are going to keep everything in our smart brain for just a little bit. We'll put our hands down because I have a special book I want to read to you. This book is called I See Spring, and this will tell us even more about the exciting things that we will be seeing in springtime. So we see here, here's a girl and she's holding her umbrella. She's walking in the rain, but she's walking past a flower that's blooming. And so we know now rain can be a spring thing. It can be a winter thing and a spring thing. And we know lots of other exciting things happen in spring as well. It says, I see raindrops falling down. And do you see the tree? It's got leaves on it. There's birds in the tree. I see raincoats, blue and brown. And look at those trees. The leaves are there. The flowers are blooming. I see dark clouds way up high. I see a rainbow in the sky. I see puddles in the street. I see rain boots on my feet. I see sunshine on the tree. And we see here the leaves are growing over here. This tree has blossoms on it. There's flowers all over that tree. I see bluebirds ride the breeze. I see robins build a nest. I see bunnies take a rest. And springtime does have a very exciting holiday in it, Easter. So we will get to celebrate Easter pretty soon. I see ladybugs and snails. I see puppies chase their tails. I see yellow daffodils. I see bluebells on the hills. And daffodils and bluebells are both types of flowers that grow in spring. I see squirrels scamper on the ground. I see pinwheels go round and round. Hopefully you'll get a chance to go outside with your pinwheel and play with it in the breeze. Watch it spin. 
I see kites up in the sky. I see clothes hanging up to dry. I see butterflies and flowers. I see signs of more spring showers. And a spring shower doesn't mean that you're actually gonna go take a shower. It's talking about rain. The end. So those are all some really special signs of spring. And hopefully if you haven't had an opportunity to take your nature walk, you can do that over the weekend because hopefully we'll have some nice, slightly warmer springtime weather over the weekend. But you have your pinwheel, you have your kite, you can practice flying. So I want everybody to think right now, even though we're talking about springtime things, I want you to still think about some words that start with letter E. And I'm gonna show you a couple of things. We will be doing our letter E sticker writing shortly. So we've got on here, we've got eagle, easel, easel, egg, elephant. There's one word on there we don't have on our list yet. And I just made our letter E book. And inside our letter E book, we've got great words like elbow, eel, eraser. There's the easel again. So I want you thinking about your favorite E word. We have two more spots. So we've already got escape, eagle, egg, eat, elephant, elf, edmontosaurus, eyes, ear, and evening. All of those are here. So let's see if we have another E word. I'm gonna call on Mahialani. She's been so patient. Yes, Mahialani. Egg is an excellent word. We do have this one right here already, but there are some other E words that are not up there yet. Words like eraser, easel, eel, elbow. Do you see a word there that you like, Mahilani? Eel. Eel, very, very nice, eel. All right, boys and girls. Everybody, let's get our hand up. We're gonna stretch out the word eel. Eels are very exciting animals. So here we go, ready? E, E, and I hear the long E sound. That gives me a really big clue that it's a double E. Eel, there's an L. And I'm gonna get a good color here. I'm gonna get a good color. Now an eel, is an animal that looks a lot like a snake, but it lives in the water, doesn't it? Eels are pretty amazing creatures. And the ocean would not be the same without them. There we go, there's our eel. Excellent word, Mahialani. Let me call on um, our birthday boy, Brandon. Unmute, birthday boy. Awesome. Exit. Is that what you said, Brandon? Exit? Yes, thank you, Brandon. That's an excellent word. Exit. Can everybody clap that with me? Exit. And an exit is what, is what you would see. I hope we're not too frozen right now. Is what you would see a sign above a door if you're inside some place. Even inside of our cafeteria, you would see a sign that says exit. So everybody, we can sound out this word. This is a great word. Let's get our hand up. We're gonna sound out exit. Ready? Eh, eh, eh. What's my first letter? We know. X, X. There is an X. X, it. It is literally sight word, I-T, it. Exit. An exit is usually on a nice big sign that has the letters all capital. E, X, I, T, exit. 
There we go. Great word, Brandon. Thank you. Now, boys and girls, we are at the very end of our e-word list. Our e-word list is completely full. So you'll be writing these words today. Make sure you write all of them, all of them, because it's such great practice. But I'll tell you what, there are more e-words. And if you want to add them to your list today, I would love it. That would be great. So we're not gonna take any more e-words right now. Keep them in your smart brain. Make sure you know what they are so you can add them because I want you to go ahead and take out your stickers. Let's do some sticker writing. Erin, yes, Erin, what's going on, buddy? I wanted to say er. Uh, Earth is an excellent e-word, and that would be a great one for you to add to your e-word list today. Earth is very, very important. I found my earth yesterday. Some of you realize I found my earth. We figured out that the leprechaun hid it. Crazy leprechaun, because it was in the same cabinet. I keep it in the same cabinet that the footprints led up to. So I found it, but I think, um, I think he hit it. So I found it, but here it is. So earth is an excellent word. I would love for you to add that to your list. Perfect. All right, boys and girls, go ahead and get out. While this is warming up, go ahead and get out your sticker dictionary book, your stickers. We're gonna open up to the E page. This book is getting really full. We're just about done with it. We're, we're only a couple. I love it, Noah. Perfect, buddy. Noah has a perfect globe. What's going on over here? This is what's going on. All right, there we go. Go ahead and start putting your letter E stickers on. we go I've got my stickers on and I great job Brandon thanks for showing me my e-stickers are on great job Vivon thank you great work some kids are still putting stickers on beautiful some kids are still putting stickers on so we'll wait just a moment don't get started on your writing yet beautiful thank you we're just going to wait just a moment. All right. Beautiful. Thank you, Samira. All right. Looks like we're finishing up getting those last stickers on. So that's great. Great job, Avery. Thank you. Right, boys and girls. Good work, good work. I see Xerxes is almost done. Some kids are almost done. I'm gonna use a marker here. And when I write my letter E, I'm gonna make sure it touches the line. Number one important thing, my letter needs to touch the line. And I also want to make sure that all my E's are about the same size. So here I go. I'm going to write my E, so pencils down to start with. Pencils down, just watch Mrs. Lai. Straight line down, across, across, across. Straight line down, across, across, across. Make sure all your E's are about the same size. Don't let them grow or shrink, all right? Start writing your capital E. Is everything okay, Erin? Erin, say it louder, bud. Okay, 
Erin, just open up your book. They have a, a way of turning up. There's, they should be still inside this book. They should still be inside that book. But they have a way. Okay, okay, don't worry, Erin, just write with us. Still write with us, okay? All right, here we go. Right, all the way across, and then we're going to take a break. Right, all the way across, and then we're going, beautiful, thank you, Avery. Very nice, neat, capital E's. Very nice, great work, Samira. Thanks, Arjun. Nice work, and we're just doing our best. All right, boys and girls. I see kids are finishing up over there. So let's do this. Go ahead, put your pencils down. I'm gonna write my lowercase e, so I'm gonna go out, up, and around. I'm gonna make sure I go out, up, and around, and when I go around, I wanna touch the line. I just wanna do my best. Write your lowercase e's right now. Here we go, start writing your E's. Out, up, and around. There I go. Write your lowercase E. Beautiful, thanks Avery. Beautiful, thanks, Miriam. Thanks, Brandon Ace. Thanks, Samira. Thanks, Simon. Beautiful, Arjun. Beautiful, thanks, Brandon. Thanks, Xerxes. All right, boys and girls, we are gonna start sounding out our words. Now remember, when we sound out our words, we do it together. We put our pencils down, our hands come up, so we can remember just to say it nice and slow so we can hear all the sounds. Our first E word, say it with me, eagle. Say it again, eagle. So pencils down, eyes over here. Let's stretch out this word, ready? E, say it slow with me. Xerxes, say it slow with me, ready? E, so I know I'm gonna write my E, but I'm, al I'm also writing my lowercase a, but everybody pencils down. I wanna see everybody's hands up. Hands up to your mouth so you're stretching this out with me. We're not writing, okay? We're just sounding it out. We've got an E, but we need an A. That's kind of a bossy A. That's saying E, make your long sound. Let's say it slow, ready? E, G, G, G. I hear the G that has to go under the line, but that's not my last sound. Say, say it slow with me, ready? E, G, O. I hear the L and there's a silent E on the end. Write it now, E, A, G, L, E. Beautiful, Avery. Thank you, Brandon Ace. Perfect. Xerxes, can I see your words? Beautiful. Thanks, Arjun. Nice, buddy. All right. Oh, very nice, Vivon. I see some really nice writing over there. So thank you. All right, boys and girls. Thank you, Miriam. All right. We have another word. Let's clap it together. The next word is easel. Let's clap it. Ready? Easel. Count the syllables with me. Ready? Easel. So boys and girls, pencils down. Let's sound out this word. It's very similar to eagle. Now we know, we know it starts with the long E sound. So say it slow with me. Ready? E. There's a silent A, but we're not done. Say it slow. Ready? E -s -s. I hear the S. Do you hear the S? Let's say it again. E soul. I hear the L, but it's not just L. This one happens to be E L. 
E A S E L S. Write it now. Beautiful. Thank you, Fiona. Nice, neat work. Great job, Vivon. Great job sounding out that word with me. Great work. We need to do the work in order to learn how to sound out these words. So nice job. Lucky guy, Vivon. Thanks, Erin. Perfect. All right, boys and girls. Next up, we've got an egg. So we know egg has has two sounds, egg, but let's clap it so we know how many syllables are in egg. Let's clap it together, ready? Egg, let's clap it again. Egg, how many syllables are in egg? Show me on your finger, how many syllables are in egg? Beautiful, I see Mahialani and Vivan. Great job, Skylar, how many syllables are in egg? Ah, so Skylar, I want you to work with us, honey. So you gotta put the pencil down, honey. Okay, we're gonna clap it so you know how many syllables are in egg, ready? Egg, how many syllables are in egg? One is right, that's right, one is right. So Skylar, Skylar, help us sound this out. So pencils down, help us sound it out, ready? Egg, there's a G, but actually it's a double G. E, G, G, egg, write it now. E, G, G, egg, write it now. Beautiful, thank you Xerxes. Make sure your little G goes under the line. It's got to go swimming. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, we've got it. Our last word is elephant. Okay, we need to clap this one. So everybody, pencils down, hands up. Let's clap elephant. Here we go. Elephant, count the syllables with me. Elephant, show me on your fingers how many syllables. Beautiful, Vivon, thank you. So, elephant, how many syllables? Elephant, elephant. So pencils down, eyes up here. Let's sound out this word, elephant. Here we go, get your hand up. Get your hand up, we're not writing yet. So put your pencils down. Here we go, ready? Elephant. And the F sound. Oh, David, put your pencil down. Mahilani, we got to sound it out, buddy. Okay? So we're getting our hands up. We're not writing as we're sounding it out. Okay? Just for practice. L F. The F sound is actually a PH. That's a digraph blend. Elephant. Ant is literally ant. Ant. Elephant. Write it now. Elephant. Yes, Erin. You found them? Good job. Way to not give up, buddy. Proud of you. I'm proud of you, Erin. All right. So boys and girls, we are going to write our last sentence. Sasha, we're going to wait. And we've, we've talked about not interrupting, honey, but it just keeps happening. So we're going to hold off for just a moment so we can finish up this activity. So I want you to listen. Our sentence is this. There is an elephant at the zoo. Say it with me. There is an elephant at the zoo. How many words in that sentence, boys and girls? Beautiful, Avery said it, Vivon said it. All right, beautiful, excellent. So we are going to start writing that sentence with a capital letter. There is our new sight word. So I'm gonna start with my capital T-H. My capital T, then an H. There is an 
elephant. That's a big word. There is an elephant. I have to go under because I'm out of space. You might not be. There is an elephant at the zoo. Zoo. And then I can put my period. Now remember, my sentence is there for me to read. There is an elephant at the zoo. There is an elephant at the zoo. Yes, Avery? I read it three times. Good job. We read our sentences because that is a smart thing to do. I love it. Love it, love it. All right, boys and girls. As soon as you're done, you're going to put this away and we are going to take out our sight word packet. As a matter of fact, we're gonna take out our sight word packet. And if you wanna tell me how many times you read your sentence, will you show me on your fingers? I would love to see on your fingers how many times you read it. Great job, Vivon. Great job, Arjun. Nice, Noah. Thank you, wow, Xerxes. Thanks, Brandon Ace. Thanks, Erin. can't show them on my team. Oh, because you read it so many times? Congratul oh, very nice, very nice, nice, Samira. Thank you, Morgan. Beautiful, Ava. All right, boys and girls, we are going to take out our sight word packet. We are on the word this, this. So go ahead and take this out. I'm gonna put my this away. I've got this out. Right, and I've got, yes, perfect. All right, and if you don't, if you can't find your sight word reader, we know we just write it on a whiteboard and that's A-okay or even on a piece of paper. All right, boys and girls, so I've got my, write, my writing tool, I've got my highlighter, and I am ready to go. So let's spell this as we write it. Make sure you're talking because it's really important to say it and see it and hear it. Let's spell this. Here we go. T-H-I-S this. And I'm going to come over here. T-H-I-S this. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do it again. T-H-I-S this, this, so I'm looking for this. And I've got my highlighter. And we're going to go one sentence at a time. And boys and girls, do I have my finger under my words as I read them? Yes, I do. So let's point to the first word. It says this. So we get to stop and color this. Stop and color this. There's my sight word. Let's read it together, ready? This is a tree. Let's go to the next sentence, ready? This, stop and color this. Sreshta, Sreshta, do you have your sight word reader? Are you looking for your highlighter? You can just use a marker, okay? Just use a marker if you can't find your highlighter. Everything okay, Skylar? You forgot to write your name. You're right, I did. 
Thank you for rem reminding me. I'll go back to it in a moment. Thank you. All right, boys and girls, here we are. Let's read our second sentence. Ready? This is a squirrel. Make sure you're hopping that finger under. Go to your next sentence. This. Here I go. I'm going to stop and color this. Let's read it together. Ready? This is a deer. Next sentence. This. Stop and color this. Ready? This is a fox. Sreshta, do you have your sight word reader with you? All right, here we go. Next sentence. This. Stop and color this. Let's read it. Ready? This is a rabbit. Next sentence, ready? This, stop and color this. This is a stream. Now we're down to the last sentence. This, stop and color this. Ready? This is a forest. So I'm gonna color my star right over here. I read it one time, but I'm going back up to the top. I can add my name real quick. First name and last name, because I'm really good at that. But I'm going to read it again. Put your finger under the first word. We're hopping our finger under every word. We need to make sure we're pointing to the word that shows us where to look. Ready, read. This is a tree. This is a squirrel. This is a deer. This is a fox. This is a rabbit. This is a stream. This is a forest. So I'm gonna color my star again. And I'm going back up to the top. I want you to read it by yourself with your whisper voice. If you need to read it with me, that's fine. Make sure you're using your reading finger. We always use our reading finger. So here we go, ready? This is a tree. This is a squirrel. This is a deer. This is a fox. This is a rabbit. This is a stream. This is a forest. Go ahead and color your last star when you're done. Make sure you put this in a nice safe spot. We're almost done with this packet. We will be very, very soon. And we are going to take out our Let's Find Out Spring is in the Air. So take this out. We've got some really exciting things to do with this today. And this is a great book for you to practice reading with. we go. All right, boys and girls, looks like we're just about ready to go. We have some really special things to check out today. Let me find it. Here it is. All right, so we are going to watch a little video called The Sounds of Spring. So you can just sit back and relax and watch this fun video. And let me make sure I can make it nice and big for you. Ah, hold on, it didn't work. 
Let me see if I can do that again. Sometimes it works when I make it big and sometimes it doesn't. Let me see. There we go. All right, boys and girls, here it is. right after winter. In winter, much of the United States is cold and still. Animals hibernate. Trees have lost their leaves. The ground is frozen. But in spring, everything warms up and wakes up. And if you listen closely, you can hear sounds of spring all around. This tiny frog is called a spring peeper. It is one of the first animals to wake up from its winter sleep. These frogs are so tiny, one can fit on the tip of your finger. Spring peepers may be small, but they are loud. Their throats make a bubble when they peep. In spring, you're likely to hear birds sing early in the morning. They start singing about an hour before the sun comes up. Some birds sing to tell other birds, I'm here. This is my territory. Spring is also a time when baby birds are hatching. They sing to let their parents know they are hungry. That's the sound of someone sneezing. In spring, Many people get runny, itchy noses, and they ah, uh, ah, uh, achoo! In spring, there is a lot of pollen, and pollen makes many people sneeze. <coughs> pollen is a yellow, powdery grain that is made by trees and flowers. Because it is warmer in spring, flowers are blooming everywhere. Trees are growing new leaves and the flowers and trees are making a lot of pollen. That's the sound of spring rain. Spring is one of the rainiest times of the year, but that's good news for all the plants that are growing. They need rainwater to grow big and strong. And that's the sound of boots splashing in spring. When all that spring rain mixes with the warmer spring soil on the ground, it makes mud. I think this doggy is going to need a bath. So when you hear the peeping of a frog, the tweeting of baby birds, the pitter-patter of rain, the splashing of mud puddles, people sneezing all around you, you'll know spring is finally here. All right, boys and girls, that is so exciting. So I'll post this video because I know how much many of you love to watch it. We're going to go ahead and read spring is in the air. Hang on just a second, Vivon. I see you, sweetie. We're going to go ahead and pull out our book, our Let's Find Out book that looks just like this. Yes, Vivon. I, I have a few things to tell you. Okay. I read that book, my daddy. Good. And you know what these are called? I think it's Danimal's Drinkable Yogurt. And they're pretty tasty, aren't they? Flavor. Ooh, yummy. Is that strawberry banana? Yeah. I like the strawberry one more than this one, but this is my second pick. Lucky guy. All right, boys and girls. I went ahead and wrote my name on the top of my book, and we're going to read it together. So go ahead and put your finger under the title, 
it says spring is in the air. Just look up and see. Is everything okay, Marianne? I'm gonna turn the page. Um, my highlighter doesn't work very well. Okay, you can just use a yellow marker. That'll solve the problem. All right, boys and girls, here we are. There's a little area right here. It says, this is a birdhouse. Let's read the sentence. The sentence says, look up. You can see a bird in the air. Look up. You can see a bee in the air. I'm going to turn the page. I'm on page number four and page number four says, look up. You can see a kite in the air. Look up. You can see a butterfly in the air. Turning the page right here, ready? Look up. You can see a blossom in the air. Look up. You can see a rain cloud in the air. And I'm turning to the very last page and it says, look down. You can see a puddle on the ground. All right, boys and girls. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make a couple of quick announcements. Number one, this book is for you to keep. So you're going to keep this book. Do not turn it in to me today, okay? Keep this book at home, but guess what? Read it. This is a great book for you to practice reading. So keep it with all your reading books and read it. Hang on, because I'm going to make a really important announcement right now. All right. Everybody has this special page. It's called Tucker's Triangles and it's double sided. Save this for math. This is what you're going to bring to math today. So don't complete this activity before math time. We finished chapter 11 yesterday. Super exciting. So today we get to have some math fun. So bring this one to math today and keep this at home. This is a great book for you to practice reading. So I'm gonna have you do that now, okay? So as we're gonna end the video now that you can practice reading